Hey, what's up guys, Alex here. Thank you for checking this video. And welcome to this new quick mini series about Gulp. In this series of tutorials, we're gonna try to understand what is Gulp and why it's always connected to NPM or that super weird and super annoying package.json file that you see pretty much in every project you're working on. So a quick introduction, Gulp is just a simple toolkit to automate repetitive tasks. And those repetitive tasks are usually the compiling of SCSS or SAS files, compiling of JavaScript files, or uh, in general, whenever you use a framework that deals with non-standard JavaScript or non-standard CSS, you use an automation tool to grab those files, package them together and compile everything to speed out regular files that your browser can understand. The source code of Gulp and all the other plugins and packages that you use in order to extend Gulp and make it possible to use with pretty much every framework is based on NPM. NPM is the Node Package Manager. It's basically a gigantic repository with all these JavaScript snippets and stuff that you can pull from the cloud whenever you need to use them in your project. And in order to keep track of all the files that you need to use in your project in order to create the goal file, develop your automation tool, or develop your entire workflow to compile all your distribution files, you need to generate a package.json file that is basically just the full DNA explanation of what is inside your project, what dependencies you need in order to make your project work, and uh, prepare your project in order to be shared on the NPM repositories. So in this series of tutorials, we're going to see how to generate dynamically a package.json file in our project, how to update it programmatically every time we use a new package or a new node module, and how to set up our gold file.js in order to automate some repetitive tasks like compiling JavaScript ES6 and compiling SCSS in plain and simple CSS and JavaScript for the browser to use. So if you have any specific question that you want me to tackle during this mini series of tutorials, please leave a comment below but remember to leave a like and subscribe and I talk to you in the next video.